Um, they don't have those like six rayed fused silicious spicules and um, they're a lot more actually zoom in a little bit? spongy. Uh, yeah, glass sponges only have a very thin layer of what can actually almost be considered tissue um, over their spicules, although most sponges don't have true tissues. Um, but demo sponges, they have a thicker, um, like, intermediate layer with spongin, spongy protein. Those are so cute, but they are like mm -hmm. a total current indicator. It's, yeah. Yeah. It definitely is current. They do look like cattails, like you were saying earlier. Yeah. Can we uh, come wide, please? I'm excited to touch one of them. <laughs> I'm guessing another shifted sample some already. Yeah. And they said they've been seeing these flows the whole time, pretty much. Um, Jane, when was our last rock sample? I'm guessing Rob did plenty of rock sampling, but just curious. Let's see. We had one at about an hour ago. That was the last one. Okay, about an hour ago. Um. Lynette, just throwing this out there, I don't know how far we'll get. I know, I think I like waypoint three is significantly closer to two than two is to one, but um, we'll probably make it beyond, well, well beyond waypoint three, somewhere in waypoint three, four. How, yeah, how many meters is that? I guess I can tell. Um, it's about 650. Okay, so whenever we may end up making it beyond there later on in our shift, just throwing it out there that there's a desire to go to dip down the northern side of this slope between three and four and okay. just check if there, there are carbonate rocks there. Okay. So if I'm not noticing that we're already there, please let me know. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks. That's cool. That's a chirostylid, I'm pretty sure. Squat lobster. Hmm. a great view of it yeah it's a big one it almost is is that on the end oh no it's oh it almost looked like it was weighing it down but it's i think just perspective oh wait now what's this where are you looking we have a guest sample oh, log that's me oh, I, okay i changed it Want to zoom in, fellas? This is a primnoid. It's chunky. It's got big whorls. But that looks like Norella to me, with that dichotomous branching at the bottom, and it has ophiroids crawling up it. The current's even moving yeah. this one, too, huh? Yeah. We got one of these Norella primnoids, not exactly like this, but another one in the lab the other day. And it's kind of fun to, now that we have collected within a short span of time, a number of different primnoids to realize like how big those polyps actually are. The prim primnoids are cool. They have, um, if, uh, can we get any closer? Yep, I'm trying to. Um, so like each of those, I don't know, chunks that you see, bulges you see along the um, main axis of the coral is a, actually a number of different polyps that are in a circle around the skeleton, maybe like four of them. And they have these plates that you can almost make out too. So each of those little polyps in the, in the whorl, each of the four polyps has a number of, of plates kind of protecting it that the polyps can retract into, which is pretty cool. And you can look at whether those polyps, when they are retracting, are facing down or facing up. And that's kind of diagnostic of what kind of primnoid it is. That's a good shot. Thank you. Can we come by, please? Let's see what else is on this rock. Yeah. Like small Tritopleura. Yeah, the chat said. 
the brittle, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. It said oh. those brittle stars were holding on for dear life. Yeah, they were. <laughs> but they're so good at wrapping themselves around. I mean, it takes work to get a brittle star off of any coral. You zoom in? It's nice to see in the triclops that you have different size of the philoderma. Yeah. You know, there is tiny ones and then there is a big ones. Right. And, um, I think miss. so far is the first time we see them sponge yeah. uh, in our exposition. And even though thermal sponge can be very, like, it's the most um, abundant, I think, I think in terms of, and in, in reach, in terms of species. Demo I think sponges, it's yeah, about they're 90%, definitely yeah. the most, most yeah. sponges are demo sponges. That, and, yeah. they, and they are quite broad in, in the habitats they can. Freshwater. Uh, and fresh water, I don't think, I'm not sure. Are there? But I, uh, I thought I that there were the also fresh water Because for sure the, the Ococaria, yes, they're smaller. I'm not Let's sure see. about the... And uh, as uh, maybe the fresh water is... All of the fresh water sponges are demo sponges, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, perfect. Yep. So, um... For the cocardos, I know they, they can be both, um, but yeah. I know that they're, they're most uh, ab abundant. And um, it's also demo sponges that can do the really, uh, you know, not speaking for these demo sponges here, but that can do um, the really cool thing where they form something called gemules, and they're basically um, like a dormant form of the sponge that can can survive um, not in unfavorable conditions for a long time. And then when it senses that the environment is adequate for it to start growing, um, that the sponge will start will start growing, which is really start cool. Moving along here. But they're in these like protective, a protective layer. There's also some, um, Jane, like bottle brush, yeah, uh, like Chrysogorgia geniculata, yeah. At least CF geniculata. I don't know. Steve is always talking about the evolving taxonomy of the bottle brush chrysogorgids and how they might be something else too. Uh -oh. What are contentious. these cattails <laughs> called again? Peloderma. Okay. Sponges. Sponges. Yeah. Kind of cool. cool. easy to remember because they look a bit like pillars almost. Yeah. 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 Good trick. Or pyl pylon, I guess, is more similar in spelling to how. Actually, I don't know how to spell pylon now that I think about it. Pylon? I don't know. Is it Y? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. We're good. Py maybe it's Pyloderma too. I don't, I don't it's know. It's P Y L A. I feel like Derma. Steve and I are always out here like, it's not Narella. It's Narella. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, the last watch had an amazing Harry Potter reference. They said <laughs> really? Sponge Guardian Leviosa. Because <laughs> yeah, they were in a sponge garden. They're so funny waving back and forth. Yeah. Some of this, could we actually take a look at like that one right there? Sure. A little closer. That might be. Can you start like zooming in, Bono? Tricolis. Um, the Chrysogorgia? Yeah. We, which we haven't seen much at, or it's just a bent over geniculata. It's kind of hard to tell, but definitely multiple different forms of Chrysogorgids here. Oh, just good squad over trying there, huh? to get triclops. Oh yeah, nice. That's a good shot. It's like every Chrysogorgia has its own squat. Mm -hmm. and that one on that dead sponge is, is pretty clear. If you can have a zoom in the squat lobsters just to... Just to show Paula. Just to show one. Paula. Ah, there is another in one. In the background, here yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. In this talk of this punch. And always another lobster. Uh, James, would you mind zooming zoom quick on, or zooming out, and then there's a dead sponge with a squat lobster on top yeah. of it on the left there? Hey, Lynette. Can you um, check and see if there's a sample 177 waypoint? Yeah. I just want to confirm that there is not. Is there zoom in there, Apollo? Should have been the last one if it was, if it exists. Uh, no. Okay. I did not have Perfect. one. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like there are hydroids growing on the dead sponge stock too. Yeah, so um, what I saw again of the last watch, um, they have found a couple of these tritopleuras with three or even four squat lobsters oh, on cool. with the hydroids. This oh, looks like galatheoid squat lobster. Uh, yeah, I'm fighting you. I know, I can feel it. We have to get going, yep. guys. Okay. Sorry. That's fine. Yeah. I'm wondering why this is so hard, because Atalanta is way past us. <laughs> well, there's some cool stuff here, too. Data, should we have a 177? We no. should not, no. no we I should was not. confirming okay. with you that we did not. It's okay. like a parent at the Thank store. You. It's like so a parent at the store, they're going out the kitchen and taking the kid along. A lot of dead sponge in, stuff. In the mix of uh, glass sponge and thermal sponge, actually, I, when you mentioned the, the thermal sponge, yeah. I confused the, the glass sponge, because the glass sponge usually is more... Right. Uh, it's deep sea and... Yeah, marine. yeah. Yeah, yeah. No so fresh water uh, glass yeah, No glass sponge. No, but thermal sponge, of course, so I just get a... Um, but some of those dead Vareid stocks actually look like, um, like Oca recta, not, not the, uh, Aspidoscopulia that we've been seeing. What's the difference morphologically between those two? Um, the Oca recta, it's kind of like picture just the spine with the little knoblies, but okay. they, it, the, the knoblies don't protrude out as much. They don't grow into like rib cages. It's mm. just the vertebrae. Interesting. Like this one here? Uh, yeah, right. And like pretty much every single one that is laying on the ground looks like Oca recta. It's uh, OCCA. Uh, Oka space, and then, yeah, erecta. And it's a Ferea, Ferea Oka erecta, not just Feread. We're getting there. It's interesting to see how many, yeah, how many dead glass sponges there are, and then all these living demo sponges. And I wish I could hypothesize why demo sponges are happy here and we're not happy <laughs> on any of the other types that we saw. Seems like everything is growing straight up. Gentrified. Yeah, right. I have impression that some species of demo sponges, in. they need a more uh, environment that's a little bit more um, rich in yeah. terms of nutrients. Oh, so oh. many hydroids. Oh, wow. Keep and there, squat lobsters. What is this, a dead sponge? Yeah, well, it's partially living tree to pleura. It's like on its way out. We don't really see too many of the uh, mid-death mid, cycle. Yeah. yeah, we only see the, usually the live or the dead. Right, we collected a Walteria kind of a while at the beginning of the cruise that had like some living and dead come portions. Wide, some wide arms on the squat lobster. Yeah. Um, so you were talking about the changeover between glass sponges and demo sponges. Mm. So I wonder how much impact, because we're quite close to Johnston Atoll right now. Yeah. Which has Thank been work. colonized and, you know, was used in the f for military operations. I wonder if there's any sort of impacts from we're the like that. 20 the miles testing. away right now. Yeah. Quite deep, obviously. I don't want to just say, I don't want to say no because because anything is possible. But I imagine that the, the like the diffusion of any of that influence zoom in, over this distance would be quite, I don't, I don't know how much of a signature would still be felt this yeah, far away in the street. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm but uh, it is a, but it a mean valid it, it thought. Can't be current, uh, it can't be carried. Only because I know that there have been, there weren't there some, um, like, nuclear testing yes. happening? So I just feel like that's yeah. a wild card with, with the surrounding areas. Different, yeah. So we have things so big. What are the small little white dots? I are? was just about to ask that too. Like tiny. The, the things that are reflecting back. Of some kind, yeah. Those are reflections, you say? No. Uh, no, they're not. But it looks like they are. Just little freckles. Wild. I wonder if they're like freckles. 
They almost look like uh, when spores grow on the bottom side of a leaf, but yeah, obviously not. Like a fern or something. Yeah. This is a cool sponge. It's all over it though. It's on the top. Cool it looks like. Could we look at the like? I don't know how how much pirouetting wetting it would take to look at the left. What is on our left side of the sponge? Uh, the front face of it. A bit more. Uh, we can do that. Yeah. Looks not as flat as Tritopleura usually is. See that really yeah, strong current? Carlos. Yeah. Yeah. If not, it's okay. It's not critical. But it's making it. It's getting there. Are you looking to, to zoom in on the panels? So cool. Are you looking to the side? That's weird. <laughs> oh, I'm looking. I'm moving to the side. No. Um, the camera, because like, it's not in front of the the lasers. It's mean? not centered from my point of view. No. But it, you know, oh. that looks completely different. Can we come uh, wide, please? It's growing into the roughly yeah. parts are growing towards the current. Towards the current, it's interesting. Which appears to yeah. be going down slow. Okay, we can move on from this sure. spot. Thank you. Okay, go I shrink just past. Uh, yeah, on the highway. Dense here, but not extremely diverse, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, do, when was the last time they took an eDNA, or how many of those exist? I don't know that we have any of those. Really? None. None. Um, I think that we should do that. Um, if we could, I don't know, are there any clusters in our vicinity that we can see of like more dense? If not, we can just be in the general area. Maybe next time we're on a near a rock with stuff, we'll pop one. Rock with stuff. Like even even if we were to be near the one we were just at, but I imagine there will be another one ahead of us. I'm sure, there will be another one soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Atlanta's catching up to us, so let's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can scooch along. Scooch ahead. One, two, three, four. You can't even see the last one. We gotta find another whale bone. No, no. more whale bone. Well, I, I want one. <laughs> this is not how it works. Fossilized, <laughs> wi fossilized whale bones. No more fossilized whale bones, yes. Um, and also no regular whale bones on, either. Let's focus on C pen, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. C pen yeah. Put your manifestation <laughs> area, uh, energy into C pens. Rock oh, pens? Well, what would rock be your pens, yes. Rock As we pens. see it, we're the one with the arm and the craft. Yeah. <laughs> As you oh. see it. Oh, or is this <laughs> <laughs> mutiny? Yeah, that's right. Uh, beautiful crinoids. Oh, yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> I think we should also put some energy oh, into seeing a Dumbo, Dumbo octopus. I got you, Haisa. I'm taking us to the sand. <laughs> <laughs> so we can find you some sea pens. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and so we can try and collect them, and every single one can smooch down into the sand <laughs> and evade us. I can't believe that that's what happened. I thought for sure we got them. It was like, I'm out of that's here. That's their M.O. They're like, bye. I do like how, uh, when go like, it's not oh, just necessarily. Could we look? Uh, sorry, zoom nope. real quick on what's right o under the lasers. Yep. It's a well, no sure of some kind. Always like, oh, we got to get this sample because we don't know where we're gonna get the next one. But it's like always. Like but it it branches a <laughs> whole bunch from the base, which I can't remember. Weberi comes to mind, but I don't know that that was it. There's a primnoid that does that. But doesn't look primnoid this one. Oh, I think it looks it bamboo does actually coral. look. Bamboo-y. Yes, wait, maybe it's a bamboo called it's webri. A bamboo. And Hold I think, on. see, I can see the branches here, you see? Let me, let me just get to this point in my Steve notes. Yeah, this is a bamboo. Bamboos. Um, a bamboo. 
Aconella Weberi, yes. Are you guys are cheating back there? Oh, you got cheat sheets? Oh, right, right, right. No, right. I wrote right. personal <laughs> notes from oh, Steve when we studied cheat. together because like, we're nerds. That's like bringing notes into a test. Che cheating on yourself. <laughs> it's an open book test. It's an open book <laughs> exam, <laughs> okay? There's so no open books here. up here. Akinella Weber. Eh? There are no open books up here. I uh, already put it in. I misspelled slightly, but it's all good. Close. But it's okay. really beautiful. It is. Colony. The nerve. Beautiful, the messy. Nerve. I'll have look. you know I remembered Weber I without looking at my notes, right? I'm very defensive. Well, how will we ever know? <laughs> how do we ever know? Who's Weber I want to know? <laughs> yeah, I? who is Weber I? <laughs> I was so expecting Weber a story comma, or something. I this know. one is cool. It's very clearly nodal branching, so like where yeah. you see the black line of the... Can you turn know, the down lights on? The bamboo line, It's uh, it branches from that point. Those are and, polyps on one side? But it's, yeah, polyps on one side, and, and the branch, it, the nodes have like four different branches from each node, which is super cool. Is and this very one we've seen before? No, not on, well, not when I've been watch leading, not on our watch. No. Well, I'd, I would like to take a picture from the Cyclops if it's possible. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, this is loading quite slowly. Oh, and a Rigadrilla, yeah, the there's heat. a, not a Rigadrilla, a Relicanthid anemone. Where do you see that? The purple on the upper right. Oh, quite large. <laughs> How did I miss that? We, with our remaining post-Triclops time, should take a quick peek at that. What was the name of that one again? Relicanthus, uh, R-E-L-I-C-A-N-T-H. U S. Oh, oh hey, I, I mean, it's working. This or maybe it's I D uh. I S open. Is that what you took? That's what you told me earlier. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> Just a second. Really pretty. I really do like okay. that camera. I know it's a great camera. I'm what is right. this on the right? We all cheered you. earlier oh, yeah. when we found out I'm it was back on. focus in different yeah. planes. Yeah. It's all right. Now I'm trying to focus this what here. What is that in the background? It looks like a pom pom. It's an anemone. That's the relicant anemone. Sorry, yeah, I was focused we should on look what's in next. front of us in this cyclone. That's all good. Yeah, Could we I zoom on the anemone? Yeah. Go for it. Cool, you can see the lasers on it too. At least I think it is. It's, it's not quite as long as I thought it was. It's really responding to this current though, but the relicanthus has really long tentacles this one's kind of like just long yeah like it's just starting its punk phase <laughs> yeah right but it's not all the way there yet i want to dye my hair purple like still that. listening to dashboard <laughs> oh you can really see the center how mouth. do they eat lula does how do it, they eat? Yeah, do they trap things and bring them into the center? In their, yeah, they use their tentacles. Their tentacles, so these are also, <coughs> I mean, all corals on, and jellies. They're cnidarians. Um, and so they have those stinging cells on them. Yeah. And that's why when you <coughs> when you grab a, I don't know if any of you in touch tanks have like put your finger in the middle of an anemone and had it close on you, but you, <laughs> it feels kind of like you, Velcro. You can see the eddy. Um, from the thrusters? From the eight. From the yeah, end. it's kind of cool. Um, there's lots of stuff here. How do we feel about yeah. Niskin? That would be great. Okay, I'm going to hold it here, Mike. You want to? Yeah. We've got the. I'll turn to starboard and get it to face all this. Can you we rack in, too? Any and Niskin available that you would like to go for? And I can take pictures, Jane, if you want to start writing the description. Sure. And it looks like in the back we have. More yeah, it looks like multiple colonies of the Akinella, bamboo, a bunch of the Piloderma, oh, Piloderma sponges, um, some Chrysogorgids around. Okay. Uh, and uh, and Primno is tail. relatively nearby too. Or a Husky yeah. or? No, it's a rat tail. I'll zoom in before he goes sure. away. Huh. Oh, it's so cute. Ow. All right, coming on. Roger that. Can you come wide, please? Are you racked in? Yes. And we're around three meters altitude. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'll get closer before he pulls in. That's okay. I know it's coming off the back, too. We're yes. probably actually much lower than we that. We are, for so. sure. 
A good judge of that is the Cyclops because it's so low yeah. on the vehicle. Uh, stand by, Mike. And get readjusted here. Oh. Altitude. I, can't look I mean, it's seven, it says That's two point seven, but it's probably yeah, yeah, close to like one point five or two. There we go. Two. Wasn't racked all the way in. Whichever one you want. Uh, let's go for one. Make it easy. Michael's gonna be like Roger Six. <laughs> Whichever one you want, Mike. <laughs> you can do six, that's fine. All right, so we're a little bit turn a little bit more. There you go. Can you look up? I can take photos again. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Like you are going for one? Yeah. If you wanna like start writing the description. You can go for it. I want to make sure that it's done. There you go. Go for it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'm sorry, that was my fault, bud. Got it. Yeah, that's better. Nope. nope. Got two. Dang it. <laughs> that Sorry about that. That one's hard. So okay. we're in for two? Yep. Thanks. One and two. Oh, uh, I just opened the drop. Really? Yeah, because it, it accidentally, that one. Oh, I see. The loop got yeah, stuck. Uh, we need to find a solution for that one. That's all up in the way. The solution is just pull one. <laughs> we 3D print a, another <laughs> slurp ball. <laughs> Or okay, another, that uh, was number one seven seven. Yes, correct. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Seven seven. Say so yeah, that ended up being a slightly higher altitude, like two to three meters, right? Uh, I was it's it was between two and three, but yeah. it's at the back of the vehicle, and we're coming up slope, so it was um, I feel like probably around one and one, a half two. Yeah, mm -hmm. one and a half two at the most, I'd say. Thank you. You're good, man. It's in the vehicle. You can just let her slop. There you go. And she falls into place. It's very satisfying. It is. Okay. Well done. Nice, Michael. You got a twofer. Twofer. <laughs> twofer. <laughs> don't say I don't do anything for you. All right. Plus one. Okay, moving on. Moving right along. All right, you ready for a ship move? You want me to let you get out front a little bit? Yeah, please. We can do the move because it's, it's going to take um, a while. Yeah, it takes yeah, a yeah, while. Yeah, go ahead. Bridge now. Five zero one two zero, please. Thank you. Is that a bone? No, it's a sponge. Dead sponge. Sorry, got excited. I got excited. Yeah. Um, I say we take whatever we can put on the porch. Take all the rocks. <laughs> um, <laughs> Every rock. It's a modified it's version a of Supermarket Suite. Yeah. I was just saying, like, I really want that. Uh, it'd be so cool to have that uh, fossil, or whatever, because like that was like my smoothest sample I've ever done. Just picked it up and threw it in the box. Just. Wow, Ooh. beautiful colony. Yeah, it was one of those I just moments. I just know? did this. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's quite a lot here. Oh, that bamboos, yeah, all up in Tricops. <laughs> nice. Uh, looks like there's something to the right. That's purple. Ish. Pur pur purpley thing? There we go. Left of the lights. Yeah. Of the lasers. Mini me. What you looking at? Is that another Chrysogorgia? The one that the lasers is on now? 
No, he's talking about something purple. Uh, Shadows. Like, well, back there, it was purple. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that slight color difference in this monochromatic background. Another squat so. monster. Oh, it does have one in there. Long arms. Always. These ones are either Chryseus or um, Stellata. It's really hard to tell with the okay. bushy uh, Chrysogorges. What is it about this specific coral that they like so much, you think? That they like so much? Yeah, the squat um, lobsters, they always seem to love in these. Yeah, I don't know why it is that they have this particular association, but they definitely have like really dainty, bushy, easy to hide in structure, yeah. Chrysogorgids, and kind of easy to grab onto, easy to hide in. Um, so maybe whereas protection. Like yeah, I think pr protection while being able to feed. Yeah. Well, we were talking also about, so these have more three-dimensional structure, whereas the sea fans can be more two-dimensional. Yeah. yeah. yeah and like the too. Norella, you know, where are you going to, it's not like it, it, it doesn't seem like that easy to stand on, a Norella, Pernoid, or a bamboo. Right. They kind of just have branches with little polyps off of them, but these branches zig and zag back and forth and have, yeah, they're definitely more three-dimensional. What eats but, a but squat a lobster? Do we know? What eats a squat lobster? I don't know. If, hmm. like, the there the are heavy. definitely fish that eat various crustaceans. I've never seen it eat a squat lobster, but I'd imagine maybe. For all we know, these the squat lobster top predator. These are bamboos, the sea whips? Bamboos, yeah. yeah. Have we seen any unbranched from noids? Uh, um, not that I have seen on the swatch. It also looks like you see the background foraids. They're kind of that turbocharger mm. shape again. But saying that about the 3D structure, um, also squat lobster, they have quite specific association with black corals. How oh, interesting. And not always is it will be interesting if, if you, we can check now if it will be more with the branched colonies or any colonies, you know, even. What about the last one? When I picture it, I feel like I'm always picturing black, b branching black corals. Mm. Have you seen it on, like, parentopathies? Nice. Or? That was good. Oh, a fish. Ooh, can we zoom on that? Yeah. It's so stout. Problems. It's like a weird short cuskiel. Hold on. Some kind of cuskiel. What was that? Some kind of cuskiel, like back to the but a little different. It's very stout. I don't know. But it has that, that kind of skeleton face, too. Thank you for the lights. Oh yeah, great. And you can see again those modified fins that it's using to sense along the surface as it looks for something to feed on. Is that partly because their vision is, is so bad? Yeah, I don't know how reduced Cuskill vision is, but I imagine it is reduced. Well, they just ran into a rock, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's probably because we're blinding it. Yeah, the There's light that probably too. don't help. And, no, uh, I don't think we can really deduce much from normal behavior when we're around. Michael, this is the one you say kind of looks like a platypus, maybe? No. Oh. There, there's <laughs> one that has like that, like a, like a very... The halosaurs? It has like a very platypus looking face. Oh, yeah. You know? Oh, this is awesome, actually, to see it weaving through the rocks. Looks really big, too. And uh, and really dragging Bing. those modified <laughs> fins along and, yeah, bonking into everything. It's kind of funny. Oh. But it's nice in Detroit Lobs as well. We can see... Oh, awesome. Hey, where'd you go? The where'd you go? I would love to see it eat something. Perhaps a squat. Ooh, eat there's that, an ophiroid. Do you have anything in the cyber buy box to throw at it? <laughs> oh, try to get it in the it. slurp. <laughs> I would love to see it just encounter something and be like, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm curious what they would I go after. I'd imagine, I don't know, small crustaceans, but... How many of those do we see? Google oh, confirms the squat lobster. Hi. 
says that right, um, uh, fish are cool. the biggest Thanks. predators of squat lobsters. What was that, fish are? Uh huh. You were right. That makes sense. I mean, it has to be something that can get up high and that can move faster than it can move. And they move fast and, and are pretty high up and well hidden, so. But a fish probably wouldn't take a big chomp out of that coral, right? So the squat lobster is probably pretty protected in there. Yeah, also imagine if the fish have poor vision, like yeah. how easy is it to confuse the squat lobster with the coral sure. it blends well into, I don't know. And also it's it's dark. I mean, they can't see any of it. So yeah. the, yeah, the eyes are not really doing anything. It's more, yeah. That they, I guess they have to sense motion or. Uh, oh wow, that's the that's a polyapagon. Polyapagon sponge. Shoot. And were you pointing out another primnoa there in the foreground? There is an arella there. Yeah, just the way he's branching and out there. I thought it very interesting. Yeah, kind of all from the same point. Looks like he's it very low. It splits in two. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in, Miles. It looks so soft. Yeah, it does. Until you touch it. Hmm. The polyapagons are, I mean, they're the kind where you, it use, when you compress it, like all the water comes out and it takes up almost no space. Oh, really? Yeah. These are, despite being glass sponges, they're not like the uretids or the ferreids that feel crunchy. They're, you can squeeze it like some of the, uh, the euplectelids. They look a little bit like larger versions of the Semperella. Are yeah, they, pretty they close? feel the same way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> More related and they feel similar. Hey, fish shrimp. Oh. Or, not. or amphipod or something. But if we say it's a shrimp, we can add it to the shrimp count. <laughs> In your mind. Wow, the last watch only had one shrimp, and I know that's not right. <laughs> they also they have, have like three squat, squat, squat lobsters. lobsters. Like it's billions, like, uh -huh. billions of them. All right, can we come wide, please? you got to, like, dodge all the bio on this dive as you fly. It's good to see some more dense yeah, areas. Yeah, cool. And some new things that we haven't seen yet this cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Like that shrimp. Like shrimp. that one shrimp. Were any of you guys awake for um, the w wood fall that they saw a few hours ago? I didn't see what it. What does that I'm mean? Like, like logs yeah. and stuff? Yeah, a log that had fallen down. Log. And, uh, you know, that's organic, so anything that can colonize it will. And there Not were all kinds of stuff on it. Yeah. Worms, king crabs, squat lobsters, shelled organisms. They looked like, I mean, just from a glance, like monoplacophorans, but I, I don't know um, what they were. But they collected a chunk, so we'll find out. <laughs> it's a long whip. It is. Crack that wheel. Yeah. All right, let's zip ahead here. The chat confirms there were more shrimp, but more squat lobsters than shrimp. Interesting. Anemone under that rock. Anima you. <laughs> anemone. It's anemone. 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 It's anemone, oh, okay. not anemone. Us. <laughs> Lots of loose talus rocks. Yeah. Right word I learned this week. <laughs> I guess they were more consolidated earlier, but this has been pretty rubbly for a while now. But still with big, bigger boulders, not higher elevated. That sponge there. Ooh. Is that another little? Um, there was something swimming around. Now I lost it. Ah. It looked like a big isopod or something. Oh, oh, here. It's still right there. Oh, oh, a polychaete. 
Oh, the cinema cam is has got it? it. Yes, it's in the cinema cam. Yeah, there it is. Large one. It is big. Yeah. Swimmer. Is it gonna land Swimmer. somewhere? So, is this the type, same type of polychaete or polynoid that we saw inside the um, no, tunicate? No, no. Um, that one had really, really long CT, CTA that came out yeah, of the, it. Yeah, like the longer ones on right, the top. Right, they're like extra long ones. They kind of were all the way out around the side. It looked well, honestly a bit like a cockroach, if a cockroach was, the, was a, po a polychaete. Uh -huh. The size? Here's Correct. Yeah, it's like seven centimeters so maybe or something. It's big. It's a big mm, polychaete. Really big. Things look like bacteria. They do. All right. That sponge kind of looks like a balloon to me. Floating around. Do, 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 do. See a brittle star party up on the right. <laughs> Gonna come at the end of your leash right here. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go this way. And all the cool stuff's to the left. <laughs> we'll find some cool stuff oh, on the right. Looks like something up there. Cool stuff everywhere. I'm always afraid that we're like missing something just outside the I show. Know, like, I know, same. I, it, it feels good to pan around sometimes. You're like, oh. Just to double check, you know. I mean, like look rocks, at this rock. Rocks, we wouldn't rocks. have looked at that rock at all. And that rock's got all kinds of stuff on top of it. That's but true. like, especially when things cha can change so abruptly. Yeah. You know? Right. You come across single boulders covered in life. Ooh, speaking of. Yeah. This one was quite a bit that you can see in, in Adelina. Yeah. Same stuff we've been seeing. None of these tree pleuro sponges look that happy. It looks like there was an age of Ferrea oca erecta. That age is gone. They all decided to bail. Mm. They're dead. And then mm. there was like an age of tree pleura, and we're seeing those all dying now. And now there's like the sponge or rock. The, demos. the era of polyopagon and demo sponge. Yeah. Speaking, what is that small sponge on the? On the bottom yeah. of the boulder, that I looks was a little different. The one that's too. upside down? Yeah. yeah, if we could zoom on that, be great. Interesting. He took a pine cone. Is that a, have oh, an there opening it is. at the top, like a regadrella? No, um, it's not Corbitellini. Um, it's weird looking. Yeah, we haven't. I don't think we've seen something like yeah. this before. It's There's something right next to it, maybe a chrysogorgid coral or some sort. Oh, yeah. It's interesting. What is it? Don't say I sponge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet what kind it is. If it's, It looks like a euplectelid to me. Check your cheeks. We've definitely, I'm checking the cheat sheet. We've definitely <laughs> seen similar things to this in the past, but I don't, it's not something Gives we see commonly. Gives it to peer pressure? Check. Is that full zoom? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Gives it to peer pressure. Ching. It's like the notes written in marker on your hand that you. Yeah. Is that a small chrysogorgid colony next to it? Yeah. Oh, it sorry. is. Come wide, please. No squat in that one. Let's do a little. Hasn't earned its squat lobster yet. Not yet. It's got to grow a little bit taller. It's the rite of passage for every young Chrysogorgid. <laughs> it's a massacre. Oh, look at all those lobsters. Interesting. Oh, oh, those Ooh, there's a crinoid too. there. Are those? Yeah, I think they might be. I can't tell. Where do you see the crinoid? Here. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. If we could zoom on the oh, yeah. ombre crinoid there, it's Sathrometra. Blended in quite nicely. 
That's why you gotta love the cinema cam. Oh wow. It's getting P.S. Satherometra, the I is a Y. Satherometra. Sath, I'm sorry, this is for the crinoid? Yep. I've missed that. Safa. P.S.A.T.H.Y.R. Satherometra. Yeah, that was not spelled intuitively. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good zoom, thanks. Maybe it was some kind of corbitellony, that sponge. How that rock has almost like a hollowed out side where yeah. that sponge mm -hmm. was growing. Good pictures of this. I'll zoom in, Panos. You got your squad. That's either a Bluto or Geniculata with its squat. <laughs> so I think actually, Jane, I, my first guess was Corbitellini, and I guess that actually, I mean, looks most similar to the things I see. Mm -hmm. It's not like the typical. Yeah, shape. I can totally see the pattern creepy. though that you're talking about. Usually yeah. those are more droopy. It's a little possessed but eyes, demon eyes. Looks like a, <laughs> it was a smaller version of that maybe. On you. Okay, can we come wide, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll show you what a typical one. So since we haven't seen one of those, like. should we keep an eye out for yeah, it to collect? Yeah, I think or it would be worth keeping an eye out. I'm not uh, immediately jumping on that one, though. There's another sponge at the bottom, too. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's kind of different, too. It's like a satellite dish. There's t it's two things. I'm not sure what that other to the left of it is. There's Zoom something else that just a rock. Side. It looks blue. Where? To the left, you're right. Might be some of those demo sponges from above. It's another wow. Pereid sponge, I think. Something like nice. a oh, small Pereid sponge. What is the one on the right? And then that looks like Hyalonema. The one on the right, which is H Y A L Hyalonema. There, I got that one. And a worm. Yeah, this one will probably keep. It's a cool looking one though of hyalonema because usually it has like a bigger um, osculum, the like X current. Whoa, hole look on at Tatina Ford in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh it's it's big. It was big. Siphon for? That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think I saw that one. Does the sponge to the left have something inside of it? Looks like it. Some yeah, it might have some kind of an associate. Yeah. It's perfect. I mean, look at the little holes and canals it creates, yeah. basically. It's like it's made to be It has lived great in. location, you know? Yeah, great curb <laughs> appeal. Yeah. Nice yeah. neighbor. Nice view, up, perched up on the rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the current You have neighbors, well. but like, it's that open space, you know what I mean? Like yeah. open layout. <laughs> I wonder so. if the one that was there first was just like, ugh, you gotta, there's a whole ocean you're gonna yeah. colonize. Yeah, here. He's even got so a huge satellite me. dish on top. <laughs> Could we uh, look at the satellite dish, actually? Sponge. That is. Is it up higher? Yeah, yeah, you see it in Atlanta, I think. Like, or uh, maybe those oh, are right just polyopagons. Oh, uh, the yeah, ones we zoom out. Please? I thought we just saw this. They might just be polyopagons. No, we haven't looked at the top of this yet, so we can do that. We've got a little bit of time. Not much time. A couple more minutes. Oh, there's Ramalagorgia. Yeah. Actually, I'm not totally confident. Could we, could we look at that right there? It might actually be a primnoid. And those are just polyopagons. Not just. They're big. They're very pretty. They can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? It's okay. Know I can't that. go to sleep with it on my conscience. <laughs> They're still special. Can you zoom in? Being a 
polyopgon bully. Uh, that's actually a Klyptra for a primnoid. No, it's Calyptra for I'm pretty sure. Yeah, with the lyrate branching. And That's good. Thank you. And zoom out. What is that colony on the top of the rock, the yellowish one? Yeah. It's a bamboo of some kind, this one. But worth looking at. This polyopagon is weird. It, it has those threads running all the way up its side. I That's haven't weird. seen that before. It's uh, on like a dead stalk. It's on a dead stalk. Oh, it's, wow. It's actually wrapping its threads around the dead stalk of another sponge. It, it almost looks, oh, That's turn on the down lights. really cool. like kind of deranged <laughs> sick yeah. could we uh sorry go back to the other one when I, no 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 i would like to look at that more closely oh yeah whoa and, wow. the, and the other like the other one has like two this is a cool shot though zoom in has a has two um anchor points yeah. is that a parade that it's wrapping around I that's think a it's a tree Okay. Yeah. But how fascinating that it's like this is some kind of a this is some kind of a substrate. We're wrapping around that. I'm take this. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. You can see tiny little tiny opioids. Opioids. Yeah. yeah. Usually we can see very well the, the threads, so it's opportunity. Yeah. It's got a little skirt of hmm. threads as well. All right, let's go back. Mm -hmm. Could we maybe get a quick picture of that in the cinema cam? Yeah. Send them in. Try to start at the bottom. And These ones are both weird. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. The other one in the back. Has after this, we probably yeah. should get going. Sure. It has two anchor points and literally comes off in the middle. It oh, does yeah. look like they're adhering to it's anything. It's walking up the rock. Yeah, that's what it looks like, right? Yeah, yeah it does. That is kind of cool. It looks like how you stand when you're trying to walk on the boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't tell his arms are, are out as well. Oh, careful. Well, let's not go any closer to that. Oh no. Should we collect it? Uh, it's okay. It was on. Time. It was on its way out. Sorry, Mr. Sponge. I know you're half dead anyway, but still. Just contributing to the polyopagon uh, takeover. Yeah. on the top of the Trudoplura? Yeah, it could be. Some kind of a hydrozoan, like coral-like branching colony. Nice. Beautiful image. The uh, the dead the dead stock look like cactus. Oh, yeah. this is great. I see that. Well, there's That's a big squat cool. on that one. Yeah, there's a squat. Are those... Sp oh, no, okay, it's... Yeah. Nermine, Nermine. All right. Aisa, we have saludos de Chile. We have someone from Chile oh, watching. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Bye bye, Mr. Sponge. Hola. Bye bye, Rock. <laughs> ¿Cómo están? <laughs> You mentioned the Farad turbochargers. What gave the turbo? Who, who dubbed the turbocharger? I'm curious. I don't know. I don't know anything about a turbocharger, <laughs> turbo engines, or like what. I have no idea where that came from. Clearly, it was some reference that, that somebody. A, is that a type of engine? I didn't even know about that. Turbo? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm way out of over my head here. Okay. Is it turbo the snail? It is an engine. 
Oh yeah, turbo engine. Turbocharger. Let's see if it looks like the, because the turbochargers have kind of like a T on top almost, right? I don't know. <laughs> According to the <laughs> NOAA ID guy that I just consulted moments ago Whoa. about what it might look like. Yeah. Is that a brittle star on the top? It still there? makes no Let's sense. Zoom in there, Bottles. Looks like a opioid, actually. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a brittle star. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> brittle stars are my new favorite thing to watch. They're hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Smells like, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to stretch it out here. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, one no, is having this? a time of it. I got to jump. Where's the branch? Squat lobster. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the brittle stars, so they don't move by marching their army of two feet under them like the sea stars do. They have articulated ossicles, the ossicles again being the calcareous skeleton pieces that are inside of sea stars and their relatives. They're articulated so they can move by wiggling their articulated arms. They just make me laugh. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I might fall out. One, I might fall two, out. Two, three. <laughs> jump. Jump. Do it. I mean, don't no, do don't it. No, do uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. That coral just looks so dainty underneath it. Like, I know. How does it hold it up? I'm, I'm slipping. <laughs> okay. I'm slipping. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know that I want to witness this moment. <laughs> It's <laughs> like <Psych. That's> dramatic. <laughs> I had another arm to catch me. Oh, swinging like a monkey. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is pretty cool. <laughs> that's cool. They usually so don't you do see, that. though, it did lose one of its oh. arms, which it will regenerate. <laughs> oh, it went down wow, it went, I it went a lot further than I thought it was going to. I feel like I have just a series of still caps showing the story <laughs> of it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Brittle Star Gymnastics. <laughs> Could make a pretty cool flip book. There's a living Oka recta back there, actually. Um, behind all this oh, yeah. action. Ooh, a spirally sponge. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I should have said. <laughs> a living spirally sponge. Ooh. It's so interesting that this both Norella and Achinella are kind of just the dominant corals here. And Chris Gorgeous. Yeah, we barely see, have seen any, I think we just saw one black Can we zoom on this? In this yeah, I, don't, I haven't even noticed any. One I, I saw in the previous sh shift. Hmm. Everything looks bigger in the cinema game. And the chat said, forget Cirque du Soleil, it's Cirque du Star. <laughs> yeah. So that um, kind of tube-looking structure on the left could be a dead sponge, but it also it's has dead a strange texture. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Could we zoom on this? Yep. Zoom, zoom. I don't think we've seen any living Regadrilla, have we? Uh, not since we got on. Let's see the dead one or the living one? The, uh, the living one. That looks like a piece of a whale jaw with some teeth. Right Whoa, now. it does. <laughs> we should look at it. I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, yeah, a sponge stock, but it really does look like a jaw. All right. We should poke it. There we go. There we go. And it does look like there's stuff living inside this fray. It does, yeah. I'm about to tug it. Yeah, I can feel it already. Wow. Pretty cool texture. Yeah. Super cool to see one alive. And if we could look quick at the dead one. Sure.
Are we about to tug because we're streaming far ahead or because we're uh, being left behind? Left behind. Left oh, okay. Behind, then yeah. we can we can move on. That's fine. Okay. Can we zoom out, please? Yeah. We'll leave the whale jaw, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. I guess. So whatever. And this is how rumors start. Fossils aren't important. Just, <laughs> just forget the RVs and what they want. <laughs> So it is almost her no. birthday too. Yeah, we always got the. We gotta get something. What do you think? No souvenirs, a. not in the permit. No, there's not a turbocharger the structure. Another what was that? That's the turbocharger, right? That one with the kind of wider top. Yeah. Shrimp. Some shrimp. kind of fluid. That's a nice shrimp. And then. He's still looking. This is a Walteria, maybe. And zoom in on that. Or just a chrysogorgid. It's just a chrysogorgid. And another one of those um, crinoids. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can hold it there, Panos. interest to see this the second one that we see that's really in the tip of the colony yeah to get the highest yeah. possible yeah and it's kind of funny that the colony can support that yeah stronger than they look and it looks like this one's like i'm not even gonna flare my arms that much this current is just too much i'm just gonna like you know flop in <laughs> in the current direction let it take me wherever yeah it's a pretty color. Wide, please? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Thank you. And maybe this what has been. Here? Maybe we've just be been on longer ship moves, but Lynette, if feel free to be like to to put in continuous moves, and we'll adjust our zooming to that pace. Okay, sure. Yeah, we haven't been doing many moves, but I can keep them going. Yes, please just keep them going because all of, uh, yeah, progress and we'll just stop as we move. Okay. Is that another Akinella Weberi? <laughs> what? Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like LBW or something? Akinella Weberi? Abizaba? <laughs> I was gonna say that's just as made up as Abizawa. No, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna talk about this again. <laughs> <laughs> Truck a nerve. Okay, let's. Uh, I, I should have brought some up here. Where does one purchase an Abizawa? At your local convenience store. Oh. I, I usually get them like wherever they. I never no, candy aisle, the candy aisle. Is it in the chocolate portion or the like fruity? It'd, it'd probably be where they have the taffy stuff. I taffy. find it usually by like, uh, by like, um, like warheads, Ooh, and I usually rock. find it around there. Ooh. Hard candies and stuff. Wow, that's pretty. Yeah, they're Whoa. huge. Ooh, look at that guy. Big bamboos. All right, what do we want to see? We can just. Pass by it closer. And then Bridge now. On. Do we know what species these are, or what genus at least? Uh, I don't know beyond bamboo. Uh, okay. Keratoicidity. They're the acidity or the shower. Please. Thank you. You can zoom in a little bit, Paulus, please. That's good. Uh, come, uh, can you zoom out a little bit? That's good. If we could do one zoom where we just check if these are nodal or internodal branching, that would sure, be great. Yeah. And then zoom we as can much as you keep want. pirouetting. Um... 
Can't tell them that spot. I think the one in They're the They're just above the node. It's not at the node, it's like ah. right above it. Okay, that's good for Zoom. <laughs> so. <laughs> you missed the rock too. Did you just see the thing? You went right, right down to the bottom. Branch is just above node. I felt like the brittle stars are There's a lot of them. I'm they just want to be stars of the show. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's pretty brave. Look at me. <laughs> that was exactly Actually, what I it said. I think it's more of a. Uh... <laughs> Did you see what you needed to see? You can zoom in on a different Yeah, spot. we're all good. Okay. See what you need to see. Let the woods fall in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then let the brittle stars fall out. Yeah, there you go. That's what you to say it. <laughs> Um, my favorite is when they're going, like when they're about to fall or something like that, and another one catches them. <laughs> no, I that haven't happen? seen that Yeah, that before. happens. That happens. You know, because the, uh, you know, the ROB comes in, it's quite turbulent. It only makes sense to help each other out. Some kind of sponge with a mouth shape in the background. Hey, can you zoom in on that? Like a crescent moon thing? Sponge yeah. with a mouth shape. Oh, it's like a squat. Pac Man? Polyopagon. That's good. That was actually pretty good. Oh, <laughs> 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 and then we have some Venus flytrap and It sounded synthy. Oh, yeah. It sounded like a MIDI file. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time as a kid playing Pac Man. What is that to the left right there? The Venus flytrap. Oh, yeah, little okay. Little sorry, I didn't hear you all said that. That's okay. It's full zoom. Sorry, I zoom out just a bit. Thank you. It's a shrimp. Uh, you talk about coral garden pictures. right there. Yeah. Yeah, and so Asako actually called it a coral forest. Yeah, it coral looks like that. It is. A bamboo forest. That looks like so, like a very cool picture in the cinema cam. Yeah. Oh yeah, here. It looks like a movie set. Straight out of Avatar or something. Yeah. Whatever it is, those coral seem to be very happy on that spot. That's actually a really cool picture. I like that. Okay, can we zoom out, please? Shrimp. It's a different shrimp. <laughs> it's two. Okay. Okay. Uh, beautiful. I think we can cam. move forward. Bye bye, rock. Big rock. Zoom in. Another squat lobster. Oh, hello. He's <laughs> waving. Hi. That's a, that's a galatheoid squat lobster of some kind. Lobster. Lobster. Squat lobster. Can we zoom out, please? Lobster. <laughs> no, lobster. Chowder. 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 It's chowder. <laughs> and chowder, that would be good. Sounds lobster really good. Lobster chowder. Chowder. Do they make lobster chowder? Chowder. <laughs> I'm sure. They ought to. I don't know. You're, sorry, you're it's Miss it's Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> Not Rhode Island, no lobster it. chowder? There should be. We usually do lobster rolls. Lobster rolls are so good. Okay, wait. Here's a poll. Cold or hot lobster roll? It's warm, only warm lobster roll. <laughs> so oh, I agree it's with that. No, no, it's oh, with lots of butter on the bun. It's 118? Yeah. So oh. don't and even. garlic. Ooh. Is that a large shrimp swimming towards us? Yep. Yeah. Sure. It's a long hour. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I like that movie. I do too. Good movie. My favorite part is the seagulls. 
Mine, 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 mine. And they mine. fly into the <laughs> sail of the ship. So stupid. <laughs> 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 so dumb. So many dead sponge stocks. So when you're studying the bio biogeochemistry in the ocean, kind of where all the different things that are dissolved in seawater come from, um, you do a lot of thinking about inputs and outputs. So all these things that are sort of in balance in seawater, they don't, they're not really increasing in concentration or decreasing in concentration. Um, that must mean that the same amount is coming in as is going out somewhere. And um, with silica for a long time, there, you know, and there's still questions for many elements about how, where they're all their ins and outs are. And, and for silica, we couldn't, scientists didn't know all Getting the outs. Idea. These are great. This is a cool polyp shot. Yeah. Didn't know all the outs, and um, but these sponge spicules are silicious, so they take up silica. And actually, around Antarctica, there are huge amounts of silicious sponges. And you get ahead of me. Um, it's behind you. It, they it realize that the mass of steep. spicules from those sponges in Antarctica are actually a significant out for silica in that inputs and outputs uh, wow. equation. And yeah, kind of fun to think about the deep sea contribution to that too with all these dead sponge spicules that ultimately become part of the sediment. And you know, they're in a different form of silica become part of the s sediment. And then what, ac what impact that has on that microbiome in there too, right? Sure, yeah. I don't know how then how that gets transformed. Um, Bridge now. What impact that has on other organisms. This looks like a two-headed colophagus. Yeah. Nice. Five zero meters east, please. Thank you. Kind of looks like a hydrangea flower. Yeah. So I think I saw on another watch, I wasn't sure if it was the last one or the one before, there was mm -hmm. one that had like it was a sponge that almost had three branches and heads on each one. Yeah, yep. there are colophagus that. that does, yeah, like multiple. You can they have like five, so cool. five heads. A hydrated colophagus? Do they have to be older in order for them to grow a secondary head? I think it's just a different, um, it's just different taxon, a different, different type of colophagus. Very interesting. Maybe half They're like percent. Looks like a really snowman. That's pretty good. Can you uh, turn the down other. lights on, please? See this one almost had three. Yeah, I three think, yeah. Maybe one fell off. Some associate on the bottom one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could we zoom quick on that associate? Yes, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Looks like those same ones we saw earlier. Yeah, I don't Are they know. An amphipod. It looks. Uh, no, like it's a, a gastropod. Snail? Yeah. It's rude. All right. Can you zoom out, please. Can we keep right. moving. Oh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Hello. Seems like these boulders are all little hot spots. Yeah. What's that on the corner in the bottom side? It's like triangular almost. Um, Pointy. This here? Yeah. yeah. Can we zoom on that? Zoom in, Paul. 
I don't, maybe it's another one of those like, oh, it's a dead, dead it's sponge. Hold fast. Uh, Never mind. It I almost it looks like the dead euplectelids, you know, a little bit. Oh, it might be the Regadrella head on. Yeah. Okay, we can zoom out. Zoom out, please. I thought it almost had like a, almost like trochus type shape to it. Uh, I need to catch up. Yep, we'll stop saying things. <laughs> You guys are on timeout. <laughs> Seems like more of the same. I'm coming. I'm coming. There's lots of brittle stars in there. There's a quick zoom as we pass. Is that another one of those corals that we saw in the underhang of the other one? Um, just out of frame now. What are those things? Uh, looks like anemones. Cool. Bye bye. Bye. I got a ridge coming, uh, and I'm already at 20 meters. Bridge now. It's coming in at 15 for me. It's okay, I can come up and then oh, wow. come Legs over. Change. Can we hold yeah. position, please? Thank you. Yeah, see, <laughs> that's not fun. What? It's really steep. Bridge now. See. Can we have five zero meters west, please? Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. So it's that an overhang? Uh, probably. Looks, looks like, like it. Eh? I'm looking. I'm, lo I'm looking straight down right now. So. Right. And uh, there is like a wall or at least something 20 meters away from me, so I can only assume that might be an overhang. Hmm. Oh, I think it's just really steep. I don't just think it's an overhang. Just a steep boulder. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just... Oh, no, there's definitely an overhang there. Yeah. Right where that, that, um, that... All right, I'm gonna come up <laughs> On here. the right. I oh. keep yeah. leaning back like I'm gonna see higher. Yeah. <laughs> I do that too. Wow, that's an interesting crevice there. It looks like it's full of something. It's yeah. very dramatic. What is in it? Shame we don't have time to zoom. Yeah. Can you all help me understand the direction that Hercules is facing? <laughs> Are we looking up? Yes. Um, yeah, you can see the sonar in the top, actually. We're looking way up. Okay. But I did that because I knew there was an overhang. And yeah. I, oh, or yeah, I, I didn't realize we were up. looking up. It's just yeah. so interesting that it juts out like that. I'm losing him in the picture. That is really cool. Very well, you cool. can zoom in there. Let's zoom in a little bit as we as we pass. I don't know, it's like sediment, just a sediment trap. Really cool gorge feature. Really good in that one. It's interesting in such a sheltered place has so much. Yeah, so much life. It's because I guess the current is so strong For that sure. like it's good enough. It might be channeling like some channel of the yeah. Yeah. That, that was, uh, Don't, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to don't stay zoomed longer than you're comfortable. Yeah, take the words really out of your mouth, hey, so Yeah. We don't have time. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very cool, but we have to leave. No, that's fine. Sorry, guys. No, that's very okay. Neat. Are we still facing directly upwards? 
Uh, we're looking pretty far up, yep. Cool. Is it, you can see the direction of the, the current, like, pass through clouds. So many of these big bamboo colonies. So peaceful and quiet. I don't have you guys muted, do I? No, no I'm just no, waiting for you to catch up. <laughs> they're on timeout. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're still on timeout. Yeah. Looks like we're going to come to a, a relatively flat spot, right? On this little um, node. Who's yes, it looks like it. Eh? It looks like there's a little saddle, but who's to say what the actual topography of that is? I mean, could be boulders on top of it. Who knows? Does Wait. anyone else find these headsets extremely uncomfortable? Yeah, oh my gosh, right they really right squeeze your head after a while. Yeah. You have to switch from side to side Trip. every Trip. 45 minutes. Oh, Anish, what is that? Is a that a Chanakops? <gasps> <gasps> oh, it's teeny. <laughs> oh, yeah, right it there. is. Right there, right there, right there. Tiny. Oh, it's blowing what away in the that? current. It's it is the Chanakops. The Aww. shrimp is like, but it looks it's too bad. Yeah. That, uh, I want to zoom in. Oh, we don't have... Do you have it in the cinema cam? No, it's too low. No. There we go. You stopped. There we are. Oh, yeah. Oh. I would have thought that was a rock. I know. Good, good eyes. eyes. It's hard to see. What? Where? Rock where? <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Sorry, it's like that, that moment that in backwards uh, move got me all oh. discombobulated. It's okay. It's like the modern Lord of the there Rings. Where they put you the can zoom in there if you can. Like rocks. <gasps> Ooh. Hi, little baby. <laughs> I don't think I've seen them this color before. Yeah. There was one I saw earlier on another dive that was this color. I I've seen them this color before. Yeah. It's just is it a young? It's a younger one, right? Oh, I don't know. Don't know. Certainly that. a smaller one. Yeah, it's like 10 centimeters, it's less than 10 centimeters. Oh, it's so centimeters, tiny. Yeah. Come on. You are cute. Oh, mm. almost got the laser I'm right in the I eye. I know, so I, <laughs> <laughs> so I went the other way. I don't know if that would even affect him, but. It really looks like it's snowing with the marine yeah. snow. Okay, we can, can move on. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, yeah, thanks. We're, we we're good. Keep, we gotta I, got, keep going. I got some photos. You were just oh. about caught up, and then well, uh, squirrel. That's all right. That's why squirrel. we catch up, <laughs> yeah. so we squirrel. can have oh. our moments. I should have just pulled up. <laughs> I should have just pulled up so you didn't, couldn't have any leash to go. <laughs> mean. We have a question in the chat. Do we have the possibility of detecting different forms of bioluminescence? Different forms, um, as in different methods of bioluminescing? I think so. Or, or is it something that's not necessarily looking for, or are, are we unable to detect it? I think when we turn the lights off, we're able to see it a little bit better, right? Yeah, we would have to collect something in order to know what specifically, what form it is, because there's at least two forms of bioluminescence. One is driven by bacteria association, and one is driven by genes in the oh. organism. Um, so we would have to actually, I guess, if we knew enough about the organism ahead of time, we would be able to pretty confidently say Save one or the other. Yeah. Zoom in. But a lot of organisms bioluminescent in the deep sea, and we, we don't have a lot of look, that luck like in like seeing that even when like we're... Jump, like tumbleweed. When we go <laughs> look at this thing go. All right. Parkour. Are we caught up? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. There it is on the cinema cam. Uh, Bridge now. It just won't stop. Five zero it meters just won't east, stop. please. You can stop this move and put that one in. It's a temple star. Thank you. We only have five waypoints on this dive. Normally we have like seven or nine. Are we traveling a shorter distance? No, I don't think no, so. it's long. Got ways to go, got things to see. Bone or stick? Bone or stick? Stock. Stock? It wasn't an <laughs> option. <laughs> And either way, you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> what? We can't. Ha we can't take it in for science. It's for science. <laughs> if you hoard it in your you basement can, for you years, you can process the sample if you want. I, 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 I too am a scientist. Yeah, he's a PhD student. Yeah. <laughs> See if there's any plasma in it. Uh, uh, or any applicabilities towards that. You know, for all we know, it's like the key. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it'll. Unlock fusion power, it'll do, it'll do everything. Yeah. And you're going to look silly. Because <laughs> you said stock. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the heckling comes from the back row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> completely opposite. Taking turns. It's been pretty consistent, everything we've yeah, been seeing so far. This is it's a pretty dense area. It we, is pretty dense. I know we already took a Niskin at this point like an hour ago. But yeah. All this coral is basically think, grass. At this point. I think it's okay. It's still a really similar community, and we, we got two. So. Also, just because we weren't right in front of this doesn't mean that that current wasn't carrying and stuff it. from... Look at it. This is basically grass. From nearby that was more dense. Oh, let me turn down the deadline. That was a cool picture, but never mind. Did you see another Niskin or a rock? Um, no, let's go this way. I think closer to three would be great to get another rock. Yeah, you want to go to the right. Starboard, we're on a ship. Gosh, Not nautical Michael. terms, please. But I'm looking at a screen. That screen's on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, too far. Yeah. Too far, too far, too tug, fast. Tug, too tug, far, tug, too tug. fast. Tug, tug, tug. <laughs> um, and do I'm, you have uh, an answer to this? Sparsely branched one. Of, answer? Um, I back think up a bit. That that's it's doing it by itself because there's current, so we'll just let it happen. What's this little guy? Zoom in there. Little colophagus sponge. Did you say coryphagus? Colophagus. <laughs> yep. I thought they were all Cory something. Maybe mm. that one's named Cory. <laughs> you can name it Cory. <laughs> There's, yeah. There you go. That's what you get to do. You get to name the things we pass by. That one can be Cory. <laughs> nah. That's Cory. Oh, look, there's the Steve tree. No, that's fine. I want the other thing. How do you we want know Corey? it's not a Linda? And I already named a thing. I already got the Ichabods. <laughs> the Ichabods. <sighs> Is the ship moving? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. But because I was swinging, yeah. and then it stopped, and then it swang again, there's like a wave in there. Yep. So I'm on the whip back. That's good. I just didn't, uh, I didn't hear, I know Lynette usually on top of it. I just didn't hear you say it. We have a recommendation to make a video montage of the brittle stars falling. <laughs> I want to break free. And it's even rocky. We even have a musical montage. accompaniment with it, so yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go. I believe I can fly. 
<laughs> oh, no, you can't. <laughs> We also have a confirmation in the chat that lobster chowder is uh, a thing. What? Yum. Lobster chowder. Oh, yeah. Also, tell me where to buy it. <laughs> also saying there are a lot of different chowders. Fish, crab, clam, corn, crayfish, and others. Corn. I'm stuck to the corn and the, <laughs> and the corn. <laughs> clam. It's <laughs> <That's> the best. <laughs> Can you imagine a more beautiful thing? It's got the juice. <laughs> Are you happy you saw that? Yeah, I'm so happy. Your life is complete now. <laughs> you were like some annoying remix song. I was like, this is really good. <laughs> hey, shrimp. <laughs> Did you mark when we were passing my point too? It did. Cool. Thanks. Yep. Zoom. You could also watch shrimp swimming. Nothing all day. to see here. Just going to work. Just oh, don't it's like me. nose up. <laughs> yeah. It's very snooty. This snooty, snooty shrimp. Let's show him who's boss. Get the suction sampler out. No. <laughs> we haven't really sampled shrimps, have we? They're so you know, hard. James, have you, you get heard? anywhere close to them and they just go. <laughs> have you had the thing happen yet where like a video goes uh, on Nautilus Live as a highlight and you realize you're saying things like that? <laughs> <laughs> and no, Ashley highlighted yet. it. Yeah, right. Let's show no, that shrimp who's boss. I have boss. not been highlighting the shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> but when I do, it hey, goes back us? 30 seconds, so. <laughs> Are we behind or ahead right now? Ahead. We are ahead. ahead. Okay. Way too ahead. far ahead. I pulled, uh, I pulled that a lot around. It has gotcha. Been. She's familiar. She goes. She's back. A couple more minutes. Oh, boner stick. Um. <laughs> stock, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's his Canadian accent. He's trying to say stock. Yes, yes. <laughs> Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. How do you say bagel? Uh, bagel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bagel A? Bagel A. Just Got jump you. out of the boat, guys. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Do you want to zoom in? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoomy zoom. Why not? Check on that uh, stick. There's a stick. Stick. <laughs> so that's Chrysogorda geniculata. And you see that one's like really dense. Sometimes. So there was another one that you'd mentioned that was something similar that is hard hard to tell apart. A what was Bluto the other? A Bluto is the and one that's like more stylata? sparse. And then Tricolis is... Okay. Yeah. Go. Tricolis is the one that's almost it. like wider at the top and then narrows. He was okay, moving cool, thank you. No, he was moving due east, right, the ship? Yeah. Can we zoom out, please? We come back. She comes back and like we're upside down. <laughs> we're on deck. We're lost. <laughs> Seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what? We A teleported. Of, we didn't realize how important you were. <laughs> we, we tried to move the ship, but then it just went back and forth, and it became like that ball and cup game. <laughs> with the ROVs. It was fun hearing Bridge's voice on the last watch. Yeah. Uh, how come he's not talking to us anymore? Because we're not doing anything. Yeah, but even last night he was like, this is boring. Wait, last, <laughs> last <laughs> watch Paul spoke to on SPL. Yeah, unfortunately yeah, the there was some like the feedback background from noise. His from uh, it might be a hassle up there to turn SPL on and nah. his mic on and off. Yeah, we were talking the other day. I told him. We would love to hear you. You just got to mute your mic because some of the viewers were saying that the background noise was This looks like strong. cardboard. Yeah. Paul, do you have any fun names for any of the animals that we've seen so far? Have you come up with any creative names? Is that rock on top of the dead sponge? 
like how many looks names. like it, doesn't it? Many names. Like that. <laughs> many <laughs> names. Wait, yeah, tell us, awesome. tell us one of the names. <laughs> uh, Do you have a name for the cattail <laughs> sponges we've been seeing? Let me, let me see. Okay, <laughs> has to scroll back in his Instagram feed. <laughs> <laughs> Those cattail things remind me of um, cattail. Cattails. Cattails. <laughs> you know, they, they, uh, oh, family guy had a funny corn name dogs? for them. Huh? Corn dogs. Yeah, the other ch the other watch was calling them corn dogs. We're seeing a lot less of them now, huh? Yes and no. I feel like they're on the larger boulders. We're just not seeing as many larger boulders. Yeah. Let's zoom in. That's your boulder. That's a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> Calafagus. Yep. Little, um, we're going to see some Kali realists. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you guys tired back there? Or yeah. What? <laughs> Passed out on the, in the No, I just don't think you minutes. can handle much distraction while Lynette's gone. I don't have any more cauliflower jokes. I'm kind of all out. What were your other cauliflower jokes? Oh, actually, I didn't really have a joke. We just talked about the different <laughs> things that were made out of cauliflower. So like, what did I miss? Please. I love a good cauliflower joke. <laughs> yeah, cauliflower joke, specifically my favorite genre of joke. Genre of joke. <laughs> I'll take broccoli jokes as well. Although, you know, I found out from Steve that broccoli, kale, well, broccolini, that one's an obvious one, but they're there's like a bunch of things that are actually the same They're from the same species. plant. Species, yeah. Same mustard plant. And they're just like all a little bit, you know, they've been bred to be different things. So yeah, they, they were bred. That's wild to me. So yeah. what was it? It was kale? Broccoli. It's kale, broccoli. Um, Zoom in. Kale, broccoli, cauliflower. Cauliflower too. Yeah. And no, um, no. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. Really? No. Okay. Yeah. Yes. No. Okay, he's just doing it with himself now. <laughs> you need to stop all of this. But what? There was another one too. I'm trying this to is the thing that really blew uh, my mind. Artichokes, I think. No, I, but we could throw Brussels sprouts. sprouts. There you go. Brussels sprouts. It. it was Brussels sprouts. What kind of sponge is that? Those are all terrible things. So that I makes don't sense. know if this is. I think that, that like the crazy. I learned that in my spring flower or, class. Um, Who's oh, I forget please? what group header read is. I it think sounds that, like an awesome class. Yeah, it was, it was fun. Class. It was fun during COVID. That means uh, it gave me a reason to go outside and yeah. like. And then I did like uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> well, I did do it, but um, I got <laughs> help so we can like do uh, we had for the final project. I had to go out there and collect samples and then I like, pressed them in uh, into paper and like. Amazing. Ooh, and stuff like that, and, and uh, laminated and all that, and put it in the typewriter and labeled them. Sounds so fun. Wait, 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 wait. You have a typewriter? Huh? You have a typewriter? Uh, no, I had access to yeah, a typewriter. Yeah, could we look at this um, bamboo in front yeah. of us? The one right, yes, yeah, we're getting there. Um, my, the thing that blew my mind is, I'm pretty sure this is still correct, in the fact that I'm not misremembering, wow. is that uh, apples, uh, yeah. and come from the same family as roses. Interesting. You made that up. You know, they're, they're, totally they're, they're the rosacea family. <laughs> or rosacea. I, forget, I don't know how to pronounce that. Rosacea? So this kind of also has that candelabra shape it that does. some of the primnoids have. It does. It's the uh, I4 clade that does that. Zoom in a little bit, Panos. I want to say, but this one's particularly red. That's good there. Very pretty. I-4 is usually the candelabras. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. You zoom in all the way. Mmm, oh. great shot. That's my favorite color. That pinky corally. Salmon. Yeah, salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a light orange in cinema cam, so. It's tangerine. It does, doesn't it? That's like a sherbet. Salmon. Salmon. It's not pink. It's not pink. It's, it's a salmon. salmon. <laughs> That's right. Collard greens also. Do we yeah, have a ship move in currently? Sorry, what was that? Just checking if, if we have a ship moving right do. now. Yep. Okay, sweet. Sorry, I won't talk about vegetables over now. <laughs> what? 
Okay. So they're called cruciferous veg vegetables. I thought that was just a term for a group of different vegetables, not all the same one. Um, it's in the family of the brassicas. So cauliflower, cabbage, kale. Oh. Now zoom in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's the eye for. Another squat lobster. Just checking this no color star. is not interesting. Maybe this guy will jump too. That's not what we're looking to, to do with our zoom. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, zoom out. <laughs> <laughs> gave him well, how we need more more footage of them falling for our, <laughs> for our montage. montage. For, for our, our montage. Netflix yeah. series montage. I feel like every Netflix show Should now we have do 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 that gag never gets old. It does. It's a <laughs> great song. <laughs> it does. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, man. Could we pan around a little? I'm just curious what it looks like to the left. and. Sure. Here, let's come up off the ground a little bit more. Up off the ground. Let's see what's around. Yeah, it's kind of like these flows, but broken with a lot of broken rubble. Oh, uh, there's like a distinct color change. Oh, never mind. That was just lighting. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Panos. But there is like a crease over there. Mm hmm. Some rocks. We got over From here. Up here, it's <laughs> like, oh, there's nothing. More there. rocks. Rocks. Um, okay, thanks. All right. Cool. We're looking for rock pins, but I don't see anything. Hmm. Yeah, if we um, Bone or stick. if we get up ahead, it might be a good spot to take a rock. Actually, Kay. how many rocks do we have? What do we? What's oh, we have got a decent bit of many space. rocks. We have one, two, three, four. We can contribute to a smaller rock. Four rocks. Wait, five rocks. Well. And a scoop, so it's many a rocks. Stick. <laughs> Looked like a, like a femur or something. What are you, a golden retriever? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a stick? You're trying to get the bones. <laughs> no, we're trying to find sticks. Sticks aren't of scientific interest, right? No, yes, yeah, they are. If it was, uh, a if it was actually a whale wood. stick, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Man, I want to put googly eyes on Ark so bad. <laughs> What's stopping you? Yeah. Huh? Professionalism? <laughs> Professionalism. Uh, <laughs> it's never stopped you before. <laughs> say, yeah, I don't where, think where that that's one of the things stopping anything you do currently. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't know how wacky I can be. <laughs> this is mild? Yeah. This is like a three. <laughs> Out of? 20. <laughs> Out of four, yeah. <laughs> Oh, three and a half. Uh, can we zoom in there? What, is there something living in there? Um, so, James, whenever you are ahead and can set down for a rock. Oh, like a rock. Cool, squat lobster. Okay, can we zoom out, please? Oh, that's a big stretch from that squat lobster. Okay, I think we can just sit Oh, well, right you did a lot here. of squats. Perfect. So, yeah. Gotta stretch out. All right, Mike, do you want to grab it or do you want me to do it? Yeah, I just uh, went up a bit, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, if we could take a look whenever you're at that point, looking at kind of like this area. Or you tell me what's in the arm reach. I guess closer. Um, so that rock right there where the lasers are? Yeah. Um, that's that, easily that, within that reach. That one looks good, yeah. Which the, one? The one with the coral on it at the top of the screen uh, is out of reach. That one's fine. So. All right. Coming on. All right, bud. Coming on. Uh-oh. Oh, you need your valve? Hold on, I'll get you. I got you. I got no, you. It's, it's on. It's just not turning on. What does it say? Nothing. Ready to enable hydraulic arms, but the button's not doing anything. Try again. Um, okay, so... Um. Uh, turn off the valve. 
okay. Uh, rack in before you turn it back on, just in case. And maybe we should take out the magnum to stuff. <laughs> All right. Given the hiccup, I don't know if I have enough time. Huh? All right. Ready to try again? Is it on? Okay. Come, coming on? Or trying to? No. Nope. Shut the bell. You want to turn off the valve and stuff? I haven't done it. I mean, I have, but I just don't remember. Uh, okay, so we're having some craft issues. Give me a second. Yep. It's one of these. I just forget what's one. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. Ready? I'm going to leave it off for like... 30 seconds. We are having some communications issue to the arm. So we're resetting the Mini Master, which is what we use to control it. Okay. Um, mini Master? The Mini Master. Bimini Master? Mini. B mini. The Mini Mini Master. Mini Mini Master. The Limini. The little mini little uh, master. All right, carry on. <laughs> All right, coming back on. Roger that. Coming up. I don't know how long it's going to take. And if we need to reposition and get ahead again and then pick another spot, that's fine. Yeah, we might. You know what? I'm just going to do that now. Yeah. While, yep. um, um, I'm going to keep it like this so we can see it. Um, you go right ahead and play with it as you wish. Copy. Let's see if we can get it working again. Ooh, look at this. All right, turning on craft power. Waiting for comms. All right. Uh, try to bring it up. No. Nope. Need nope. the valve. Yeah, yeah, no. I said I'm ready. I'm okay, I got the. I just turned it on. Okay, try. There you go. All right, I got it. Okay, let's find a spot to sit down. Mm. Crisis averted. Sweet. Kind of need the arm. Actually, we could probably get a rock sample with the Magnum. <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, but um, need coral it snipping and stuff is not a yeah. thing. Yeah, it just it just takes a little bit longer, and we would have to keep it on the porch. Oh, you, we got we got that arm on top of the front bio oh, box. Oh yeah, that's right. I, we were, I forgot about that thing. So we can. Um, Yesterday we when we that. said never open it, I just. Don't want to open it anymore. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> we made it, yeah, we made it till the end of time. Let's find a spot with no corals. I don't want to crush them. So this seems like we are almost about halfway through the full dive track. Around here-ish. Uh-huh. All right, there we go. Not quite halfway. All right. And it's been about get a bit more ahead. Ten hours, so that works. Okay. All right. I mean, did you see some? All right, coming back on. Go ahead. Yeah, but are down lights on? They're on. Okay, cool. All right. Do you see one? Uh, if are you are we set down? Yeah. Um, yeah. um, 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 the one right under the lasers looks a little small. Yeah. Uh, Just to the left. The one that's center stage on the cinema cam looks good. 
Oh yeah, that is a good one. I don't know how small that is. Uh, oh, you think that's too big? We don't have a lot of room I also in don't want to get too close boxes. to the cinema cam. Yeah, We're actually, we already have rocks in both the large bio boxes. Is that, is that, that a, that's it. That's the one okay, that I was talking about. Okay, let's look at it. That might actually be huge. That's too big. Yeah. That's too big. Yeah? Yeah, too big. It crumbles. Okay, I saw Annabelle literally heave a rock Can earlier. Look at was, that one? And she said yeet, and it was amazing. <laughs> I was wondering what the yeet was. I didn't, I, she someone didn't texted me that Annabelle yeeted threw a rock. Uh, it was amazing. How about one of these? Throwing rocks is like, is awesome. Yeah, I, it's so I much pointed fun. to like maybe. Yeah, one of those. I, I can't tell what's, the fingers, what's that one actually right broken apart. Yeah, that one. Or what is that consolidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. All rocks are rocks. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. Unless they're crystals. Pretend it's true. I think the geologists All would probably think differently. All rocks are indeed rocks. Ah! Hey, there's a thingy oh. on it. Okay. Uh, would love to look at the thingy when we pick oh, it up. Oh, we got some... Oh, oh it jumped. The thingy is gone. We got a zoom and turn, please. Wait, wait, wait. Got it? Yeah. I just need it to be steady for a second. Okay, you can turn. Okay, so good. it's, yeah, Thank that one's good. Um, no! <laughs> you took too long. Hey. No, no. <laughs> You're the one who was waving your <laughs> hands no. back last turn. <laughs> We're going to go, it's right here. Where'd it go? Is it this one? I don't know if it's one of those, but that looks fine too. I think it is that one because that has. Uh, nope, that's not the right it's one. It's a different one, no? but it, that's okay. It's no, it's way too big. Actually, it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to move now. <laughs> yeah, we can move. <laughs> take, <laughs> take your arm. Take, bring oh, the arm man. back, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, no, it's all right. It's <laughs> I always get Blaming it by the fingertips. It on us. <laughs> it's <laughs> definitely <laughs> the back row's fault. Yeah, all those pictures they have to take. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Got a nice shout out in the chat. Um, in the chat, I don't think I've ever laughed so much during watch before. Thank you all for being extra entertaining tonight. Thank you. Keep up the fabulous work, and please put googly eyes on Herc for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Don't know if they would survive the journey. That's cool. Uh, zoom in on that. So many things on it. Brittle stars or your squirrels? It's <laughs> There's go. He's gonna fall. We're gonna get one more for the montage. Here we go. All right, I have to highlight Come it if on. we're going to. Come on, you can do it. Or you can't, you can't hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Brittle Star Gymnastics. Oh, he's, uh, he's, down a few, two arms. he's down a few limbs. Uh. I'm free, free falling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's exercising. <laughs> do just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Okay, wait, one then we need, a, we need the Rocky ups. theme song then. <laughs> And the Rocky montage song. Dun, dun, dun. Cutting, Eye you, the tiger. cutting yeah, you yeah. off soon. Eye of the tiger. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> One arm brittle We all want to see it. <laughs> all right. All right. Out. He wins. <laughs> it wins. Fine. <laughs> it falls as soon as we turn away. All right, fine. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> but wait, yeah. but wait. Do you want to hold off on a ship move until we grab a rock? Uh, no, I would like to continue. Bridge now. So, Leila, you were right. There's five zero meters east, please. Not as much of a flat area as I anticipated. OK, we're almost, uh, nice almost caught up. Give us this one yeah, more second. Yeah, I don't know, right? Looks I mean, like we're we still kind of coming up to this ridge. Coming up. Yeah, it looks like it, eh? Yeah. We're at 2,034 meters. It's already pretty steep. Yeah, it is quite steep. All right, Mikey, you ready? Yeah. We're going to see if we can find one, grab it, and then we'll move up uh, ahead. Third time's keep a Keep it on the barge. Oh, bring it back, bring it back. It's hard to gauge distance, and I don't want to slam the arm into the into the seabed. 
Like that one would be good. All right. Bold angle. I need to see it. You got it, bud. Yeah. Nice. Okay, coming up. Oh, man. All right, good on that. Angle, I mean, yeah. if you could turn. Yeah. Good. Oh, it's falling apart. Okay, that's good. And good. We uh, we'll do bio box D. All right. Please. You got it? Sample. And is that number 178? That's correct. Is there any floaties that we need to know about? No, all rocks. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look, I've yeah. been fighting it. Oh, my goodness. The whole friggin' time. What have you been fighting? Oh, Trevor. <laughs> 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 what do you do to the chair? Uh, the suction sampler's been on. We haven't used it. Whoa, really? Yeah. yeah. So I've been fighting pressure this whole time. Oh, just, man. Just thinking that, yeah, it's all good. We're good. It's fine. Thinking it was current? <laughs> thinking, well, it, there is current, and I, I just thought there was a lot more than there was. Look at all of those rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so D and A are both free. Yeah, I would go D, just to get it, fill it to the back. Oh, that's not as high as I thought. Rocks get all the good bio box space. I know. Well, this is the first Why expedition. I call it a bio box. I'm just going to put rocks in it. It's the first expedition Geo. I've been on where. Uh, what'd you say? D? D or A. D, let's go D. Make the it easy. starboard box has been totally monopolized by rocks. <laughs> Bridge now. I can move. Oh. Position, please. No, it's not. Oh, Thank it's you. the uh, bo uh, pre boat thing. There you go. Do you I want the other view, bud? Oh, no, you've got it. Sorry. Does it look like it's going to go in? It, it looks like these? It's definitely over the box. It's not going to. You can get the fingers right in there. This is one of those uh, multiple, multiple joint, joint movements. Things. Yeah, you gotta. Would it be um, easier to put it in A? You'd have to. Mm, At this point, no. No. Okay. Nice. Yeah. There you go, bud. That's uh, it. No. Woo! Yahoo! Beautiful. Yay! Okay. Well done. All right, bring it in. Come on now. All right, go back to dive. Noink. Okay. Can we come up a hair on Delta when you get that stowed? another bamboo coral there, right? Yep. Some bigger bamboo fans yeah, here. Yeah, it's got some more, more branches. That should be good, yeah. Uh, inboard a little bit, please, if you don't mind. There you go. Perfect. Oh, I see it. I wasn't looking at the right thing. It's all good, bud. 
And then when you have a second, you need to turn the down lights off, please. Yeah. No rush. Just take some I'm of that rushing. glare out of the lens. I'm rushing. Oh, look at all the things. Things and stuff. Uh, can we zoom in there, please? This one's nice. Very pretty.